What is up guys and welcome to another Red Dead Online video. Today we are talking about the problems with the hunting wagon. I feel like the trader role is probably one of those roles that I was really excited for and when they first announced that there will be hunting wagons being added to this trader role I got really excited because wagons have been something that I've wanted within the game since like the first month of Red Dead Online. All the way back in December I did videos talking about hunting wagons and hoping that they will be added to the game. With the Frontier Pursuits update wagons were finally added but there are still quite a few problems with them. If there is something that irritates you with the wagons that aren't in my list make sure you leave them in the comments down below. The first thing that irritates me is that you can't change weapons. Somehow magically you are able to change between a whole variety of all the weapons that you have managed to go and buy on the back of your horse but when it comes to the wagon you cannot change your weapons whatsoever. You can't bring a lasso out, you can't use dynamite, you can't use fire bottles, you can't go and change your weapons and this is extremely irritating. For me with the hunting wagon I will always have the bolt action and the varmint rifle but with this dynamic world of Red Dead Online occasionally you will come across dynamic events, gang hideouts, gang ambushes and a whole lot of other stuff where the bolt action rifle and the varmint rifle just don't do it. Whenever there is an enemy NPC I always want to go and bring out the Lancaster repeater because that in my opinion is the best gun to go and use for conflict. But unfortunately with the wagon you cannot go and change your weapons which means I cannot go and pick that Lancaster Repeater and I can only have the Varmint Rifle or the Bolt Action Rifle. So no matter what loadout I have I'm always gonna suffer because Bolt Action Rifles is used for the medium to large animals to go and get perfect kills, Varmint Rifle is used for smaller animals to go and get perfect kills and then the Lancaster Repeater is used to go and fight off enemies. I can try swapping out the Bolt Action Rifle or the Varmint Rifle for the Lancaster Repeater but then it means I'm not gonna be getting the perfect kills with medium to large or even smaller animals. Likewise I can keep the Bolt Action Rifle and the Varmint Rifle but then I'm gonna suffer when I do come into conflict which at some point is 100% gonna happen. On top of not being able to change my weapons whilst on the wagon I am not even able to go and clean my weapons. Now you can't really be moving whilst going to try and clean your weapons if you're standing there or if you are on horseback but with the wagon it's just a bit more irritating because I have to jump off the wagon to then clean my weapons and then jump back on the wagon again. It's one of those things that is just harder than it needs to be and I know it's only an extra button press to get off and an extra button and press to get back on but it's something that is not needed. The next thing is that you can't upgrade the wagon. There is actually an upgrade section but there is nothing in it. I really expected with this update being able to choose your own path that you can go and choose the way your wagon looks. Now I wasn't expecting anything amazing, I wasn't expecting upgrades where you can make it quicker, you can make it easier to control, you can make it stronger, nothing like that whatsoever but in fact more about customization. Being able to go and change the colour of the wagon, being able to change the look of the wheels, being able to just go and add ornaments, something like this, very small details, this is what I was expecting. Now like I said there is an upgrade option if you go to the stables and go and look under vehicles so I'm sure at some point that will change but as of right now this is kind of disappointing. Likewise I'm also disappointed that you're not able to go and change your horse. Being able to have a bunch of different horse categories and also increasing the amount of horses that you can store at the stable, I thought for sure that you'll be able to go and change your horse and I think a lot of other people expected that too. Unfortunately you are not able to go and change your horse. This is going to be something a bit more of an upgrade in my opinion. Being able to go and swap the default horse for something that is a lot better is very similar to going to buy a car on GTA and being able to go and upgrade its engine. The horse in this scenario is 100% the engine and being able to go and change your horse will make you go quicker and maybe even be able to go and pull more weight within the back of the wagon. I hope at some point that this will become a thing where you can go and swap out the horse that is pulling the wagon along and by swapping out the horse if you swap it for a workhorse it may be a lot slower but you're able to pull a lot more weight whereas if you go and swap it for a superior or a multi it can go a lot quicker but it has to be pulling a much lower weight. The next thing that irritates me is that you cannot swap the stuff in the back of the wagon and you cannot store certain items. When I'm working on the trader most of the time I will spend it hunting so that means my hunting wagon is out and I'm roaming around killing animals and storing them in the back but there are moments where you have to go back to your camp and go and resupply it with tools for cribs and you do that with a production mission. Because the hunting wagon is the default vehicle and the vehicle that I was using before I went into this production mission, that is the one that I start with. So I can start a production mission with the hunting wagon but the thing is if it's one of the missions where you have to go to a set location go and pick up a bag of supplies and put that on the back of your horse. If you have the hunting wagon which yet again you can go and start the mission with, you cannot go and store that bag of tools in the back of that wagon. The whole thing is very irritating because you can start these missions with the hunting wagon but the thing is you have to go and swap 
swap it for your horse for you to then go and bring those deliveries back to your camp and then for you to go and swap your horse with the hunting wagon again just so you can go off and do a bit of hunting. Now these production missions aren't actually that hard but it's just an extra thing you have to go and do which just takes a little bit more time. And the last thing that I don't like about these hunting wagons is that you cannot whistle to go and call your wagon closer. With your horse if it's quite some distance away or it hasn't even spawned in yet you can whistle it will then spawn in or it will come a lot closer to you which means you can then jump on the back and ride off and it saves a lot more time. With the hunting wagon you do not have that. You can actually go and call your hunting wagon in which is 100% a good thing but you have to go and swap your horse for you then to go and call your hunting wagon in and when you do that it does come pretty close to you. I feel like it's pretty good but the thing is if your hunting wagon has already been out and you've already been on it but the thing is you killed an animal you then went to go and skin it you then got distracted because another animal came in and then another animal came in you're now quite some distance away you go and whistle for your wagon it does not come any closer which means you have to run that distance if that was your horse you're able to whistle and also run towards your horse which just saves you a bit more time and likewise with the hunting wagon most likely you are doing a bit of hunting so what makes it even slower is that you'll probably have a deer carcass or an animal carcass of some sort on your back as well as maybe you have some hide maybe you have some skins something like that which means you're going to be running at a much slower pace but anyway guys those are the things that are irritating me with the hunting wagon and i hope within the future maybe even the next update whenever that is probably quite a few months from now that those problems will get sorted with this wagon i think like the wagons are 100 worth going to buy but there are still a few problems and that's always expected once there is a new thing but anyway guys i hope you guys did enjoy if you did enjoy don't forget to leave a like and subscribe but for now i'm going to see you